Can I invite everyone to stand, please? What was that, Marie? She's all yours. <laughs> it's fitting that we're gathered here in the Church of St Thomas today for your wedding, Hazel. The last time the McBride family were gathered in this church, it was for Granny. Another absent friend is your cousin Michael. And we all know, those that knew Michael, nobody loved a party better than Michael. So can we just pause for a couple of moments and remember Maisie, who will be looking down on you, no doubt, proud as punch. Michael, looking down on you, happy, but sad that he's missing a party to end all parties. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We have come rejoicing into the house of the Lord for this celebration. We now stand with Hazel and Paul on the day they intend to form a home of their own. For them, this is a moment of unique importance. So let us support them with our affection. Kijk door de tralies naar binnen. Nu roept mijn geliefde en zegt tegen mij, sta op mijn liefste. Kom toch mijn schoonste, mijn duif die u verscholen hebt in de kloven van het gesteente. In de holte van de rotsen laat mij uw gezicht zien. Laat mij uw stem horen, want uw stem is mooi, uw gezicht is zo lieftallig. Mijn lief is van mij en ik ben van hem. Draag mij als een zegel op uw hart, als een zegel aan uw arm. Maar sterk als de dood is de liefde. Met de onverbiddelijkheid van het dodenrijk sluit zij ieder ander buiten. Haar vonken zijn bliksemschichten, vlammen van de Heer. Geen stortvloed van water kan de liefde blussen, geen rivier spoelt haar weg. Oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord. Oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. By the labour of your hands you shall eat, you will be happy and prosper. Your wife will be like a fruitful swine in the heart of your house, your children like shoots of the olive around your table. Indeed, thus shall be blessed the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion all the days of your life. A reading from the first letter of St Paul to the Corinthians. Be ambitious for the higher gifts, and I am going to show you a way that is better than any of them. If I have all the eloquence of men or of angels, but speak without love, I am simply a gong booming or a cymbal clashing. If I have the gift of prophecy, understanding all the mysteries there are, and knowing everything, and if I have faith in all its fullness, to move mountains, but without love, then I am nothing at all. If I give away all that I possess, piece by piece, and even if I let them take my body to burn it, but I'm without love, it will do me no good whatever. Love is always patient and kind. 
it is never jealous. Love is never boastful or conceited. It is never rude or selfish. It does not take offence and is not resentful. Love takes no pleasure in other people's sins, but delights in the truth. It is always ready to excuse, to trust, to hope, and to endure whatever comes. Love does not come to an end. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. Please stand for the gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said, From the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. When two people get married, they bring with them to their marriage normal human weaknesses, and they will discover weaknesses in each other which previously you haven't noticed. This is an opportunity to love one another, to heal each other, but more importantly, to forgive each other. There are times when at the wedding feast at Cana, it will seem as if the wine really has run out. Times when you forgive each other and make a fresh start. For that reason, marriage has also been described as a school of forgiveness. Now what I've spoken of now, up until this point, is the human aspect of marriage, and it would be true of any couple who live together. But marriage in the Catholic Church is much more beautiful. It's not just being partners, not just fulfilling the natural human desire to share a life with each other, because marriage in the Catholic Church is also a sacrament. Hazel and Paul, you have come together into the house of the church so that in the presence of the church's minister and the community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with a sacred seal. Christ abundantly blesses the love that binds you. Through a special sacrament, he enriches and strengthens those he has already consecrated by holy baptism, that they may be faithful to each other forever and assume all the responsibilities of married life. So, in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intention. Hazel and Paul, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? I have. I have. Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honour each other for as long as you both shall live? I am. I am. Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? I am. Since it is your intention to enter this covenant of holy matrimony, declare your consent before God and his church. <coughs> Paul Philippe Barres. Do you freely and willingly take Hazel Elizabeth Mary McBride here present for your lawful wife according to the laws of God and of Holy Mother Church? I do. Hazel Elizabeth Mary McBride, do you freely and willingly take Paul Philippe Barres here present for your lawful husband according to the laws of God and of Holy Mother Church? I do. Hazel and Paul, I'd ask you now to join your right hands. I, Paul Philippe Berez. I, Paul Philippe Berez. Take you, Hazel Elizabeth Mary McBride. Take you, Hazel Elizabeth Mary McBride. For my lawful wife. For my lawful wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death, death do us part. I, Hazel Elizabeth Mary McBride. I, Hazel Elizabeth Mary McBride. Take you, Paul Philippe Berez. Take you, Paul Philippe Berez. For my lawful husband. For my lawful husband to have and to hold to have and to hold from this day forward from this day forward for better for worse for better for worse for richer for poorer for richer for poorer in sickness and in health in sickness and in health to love and to cherish to love and to cherish till death do us part till death do us part 
may the Lord in his kindness strengthen the consent you have declared before the church now and graciously bring to fulfilment his blessing within you. What God joins together, let no man put asunder. You've got the rings? You've got the rings? The rings? The rings. Oh, that's right, you gave it to me earlier, didn't you? Can you just hold on a second? <laughs> yeah. You that blender, you caught her right out. Bless, O Lord, these rings we bless in your name, and with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, so that those who wear them may remain entirely faithful to each other, abide in peace and in your will, and live always in mutual charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> So if you take his oars mm-hmm. and, and take her left, her left hand. Right. Hazel Elizabeth Mary McBride. Hazel Elizabeth Mary McBride. Receive this ring. Receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father, Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Paul Philippe Berez. Paul Philippe Berez. Receive this ring. Receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Yeah. <clears throat> Hazel Elizabeth Mary McBride. Hazel Elizabeth Mary McBride. This gold and silver I give you. This gold and silver I give you. As tokens of all my worldly goods. As tokens of all my worldly goods. Congratulations. Thank you. Give him a big round of applause. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever.
Let us pray. Having been made partakers at your table, we pray, O Lord, that those who are united by the sacrament of marriage may always hold fast to you and proclaim your name to the world through Christ our Lord. May God, the Eternal Father, keep you as one heart and one love for one another, that the peace of Christ may dwell in you and abide in your name always. Amen. May you be blessed in your children, have solace in your friends, and enjoy true peace with everyone. Amen. May you be witnesses to the world to God's charity, so that the afflicted and needy who have known your kindness may one day receive you thankfully into the eternal dwelling of God. And may Almighty God bless everyone here in the name of the Father, of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our service is ended. Go in peace. We're going to invite Hazel and Paul to come over and sign the register. Yorick D. Hazel and Paul now prepare to leave the church as man and wife.